Helen Watson for a Lingua Musica exclusive right now. So tell me a little bit about the the people that are on your album. There's uh, you have Christian Duga and Sarah Duga from the Ducks, and you have Oliver Wood on the album. I mean, those are some great players. Who else is on it, and how did you end up working with them? Yeah, I was really lucky to be able to pull in some some old friends and new friends, and um, Sarah and Christian uh, Duga played with the Ducks, and the Ducks are, have been friends of my, mine and my family's for years, and um, so that kind of already helped a little bit, just having that friendship in my back pocket, but then um, every time they come to town, we would, we, we try to like, there's always a, a music session on my porch, and so at one point, I, I just asked them if they would want to do uh, control with me, and if they would want to do sit on top of the world, because both of those songs felt like they could really, they would really, um, they would, it would just be good to work with them on and have them guest on. And Sarah had already recorded on my last album on No Static. She she did the French rap on No Static, and so she, we'd already worked together once, and so it was just another great opportunity. So they came in and did that, and that was great. We actually recorded their parts at Echo Mountain, and then. Uh, for Oliver, um, I it was a weird Twilight Zone moment because <laughs> it was like I my my parents were at a, a Zach Brown concert to see Christian who plays who was playing drums for him at the time, and they were visiting Christian and then Oliver just was happened to be playing the same show so they met him that night and and like not like maybe a week before that my producer Michael Bellar who's also friends with Oliver had just put a call into him like. You want to play on this girl's album? Uh, I'll send you the tracks. And so Oliver recorded uh, from from Atlanta, and you know tra we transferred, and um, and so it kind of was just like this divine timing thing with Oliver, which was really cool. And um, and then all the other musicians, most of the other musicians are all New York City musicians. There's um, uh, this a great string section and. Um, and there's really, I mean, everybody that's involved from up there are pretty class act musicians. I mean, and how did you meet them through your producer, Michael? They're all like that nice. was the other thing. Like in in working in in New York, he wanted to use the musicians that he. That was part of the, the reason he wanted to be up there too. Is he knew the yeah. right musicians up there, so he pulled in a lot of really great players. Well, I mean, it sounds fantastic. Um, gave me my copy of Thanks. it. I've been listening to it quite a bunch. So <laughs> Thank you. It's been really nice. Thanks. Yeah, we worked hard on it, so I'm glad that it's it's been getting some positive feedback. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It was fun. You've been telling me a little bit about um, some of the other organizations that you've been working with and mm -hmm. like, and that you're going to continue working with. Mm -hmm. um, and I just maybe tell me a little bit more about that and why you got involved with some of these organizations. Right. Um, well. Oh, the first reason, the, what kind of like made me start thinking about it was when I knew I was going to do my CD release party on July 4th weekend, I, it made me start thinking just, okay, Independence Day, what's something I could tie in? And then I had already been um, talking about trying to support uh, some sort of foundation that worked with um, Wounded Warriors uh, program. And I started doing some research and I found an organization called... Um, Muse, or uh, Operation Music Aid, and they um, donated, they would take donated instruments and give them to um, soldiers who were rehabilitating and had been wounded, and it just seemed like such, I read it, the, the article was really a beautiful article, it was written really well, and, and it just seemed like such a cool um, opportunity to be able to give to those, to those people who are, who are, you know, in pain, and, and music is such a good therapy anyway, so... I really wanted to, to kind of take part and help with that. And so, um, just, yeah, like the 4th of July thing kind of got me going, but I'd already wanted to do it anyway, so it kind of all worked out. And, um, and, and then I also found a couple other organizations that I could incorporate into that evening. So really, it's just, I'm, I feel for the families and for the people that had to go through war and that experience and I really kind of just wanted to show my support and my understanding and so what is it exactly that you're that you're doing for them um, so what I'm doing for them is I'm bringing uh, well as a I'm kind of I'm trying to donate instruments I'm asking my fans and supporters and all that kind of stuff um, to 
donate instruments. And um, part of it is, is involved with the CD release, people will bring stuff in, but then also um, it's, I'm just trying to get people to, to donate from where I'm, my standpoint is, and then also as much as I can do to, to donate my time and money and you know whatever I can donate. Because I don't have a ton of money, but I know a lot of people who play music, so. Yeah, and everyone has an old instrument they can bring. Everybody and maybe bring something. to one of your shows throughout right. like the fall, winter, or wherever. Yeah. And you can get it to people in need. Yeah. Do you have anyone um, in your family that's been in war, like your grandparents or oh. your aunts and uncles or yes. anything like that? Yeah, I have. That's another thing. I mean, I'm glad you brought that up. Another reason why I want to support um, the troops, too, is because my grandfather is a veteran, my brother's a veteran. Um, I mean, it, on all sides, I've, I have somebody in the military. I'm related to somebody in the military. And my uncle's also um, in the Navy. And um, so, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it strikes closer to home that way. And uh, luckily, you know, well, my, my grandfather was had to go fight a war, but, but luckily the, the my brother didn't have to actually, actually go fight in a war. So like, I I was sort of lucky to have that and, and whatever, but I could, I could only imagine how it would feel otherwise. Yeah. So I just, yeah, it kind of, it strikes a chord, I guess, because of that. Yeah, your family has been really involved in your process. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you come from, your dad's a musician, mm -hmm. and like you just kind of came from a family of musicians, so it seems like that's really helped you along the ways. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else that maybe, or, or anything within that, that, that maybe has like helped, helped, you, um, helped you move further as a musician? Well, yeah, I mean, like having the support of my family makes it 10 times easier to continue doing what I'm doing, because it's not like the most profitable <laughs> and like wise career choice, I guess, but it's, it's, it makes it a lot easier when your family's behind you. And then also just having, being raised by a group of musicians, more or less, because, I mean, everyone on my mom's side and my dad's side plays music in some way, shape, or form. And um, so that helped, too. And also, though, it's just in the, in the process of having to record in several different studios and, several, and having, having to deal with several, so many different types of people, musicians, and all that kind of stuff, the having my my parents have so many different types of musicians that come through and stay and hang out and visit so like it's just it makes it easier because you you've already had that it's part experience of your life. To, to, yeah to just to work with other people and 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 not be uncomfortable and um and just sort of go with the flow so to speak and so yeah i mean yeah that definitely has an impact and helps with the process Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thanks for joining us here in Lingua Musica today, and we're at the fine Echo Mountain Studios, um, and where you did some of your recording, which is really nice. They lent us a little space in here for the day, and um, yeah, until next time, um, visit linguamusica.com and kellenwatson.com to check out her music, and Halo of Blue is the new album.